I remember the first time I laid eyes on an 8,000 meter peak. The sheer scale of it took my breath away. Back then, I was at a crossroads in my life. I'd come to Nepal alone, having finalized my divorce. Moved back and forth across oceans. My writing career was foundering. And I felt untethered. I needed a new direction. But until I could figure that out, I walked. Walking felt so natural. The only thing I really could do. It helped to ground me inside my body, taking me to places I would never have thought possible. Awakening strength I didn't know I had. I had no idea then taking those first steps in Nepal. That only two years later, I would stand on the top of that first mountain I'd seen. Manaslu. That my feet would bring me all the way to the death zone. Yet it was up there that I finally found inspiration for my writing. The air is there. It just wasn't doing what it was supposed to. That's what I wrote on a little notebook high above 8,000 meters. I wanted to try and capture that feeling, that breathlessness. The price you pay to visit the roof of the world. Of course, mountaineering comes with risk. You have to be comfortable that there are some dangers no amount of preparation can overcome. The mountain can be unpredictable. weather, snow, ice, rock. It requires intense focus and to put your trust, your life, in the hands of the team around you. People who might have been strangers only a few weeks before. One rogue teammate and your chances of summiting could be snuffed out. Or worse, your chance of survival. Yet the majority of the people you meet are wonderful. Those bonds that are forged in the high intensity fire of the expedition are rock solid. In so many ways, mountaineering is not that different from writing a novel. There's risk with writing too. To get to anything true, to write something that resonates, you have to dig deep. Reopen wounds you thought were healed. 
question your thoughts and your actions. A novel requires dedication, patience, discipline. Instead of one foot in front of the other, it's one word after the next. And like mountaineering, if you take the risk, if you endure the hardships, navigate the unknown, respect the process, the rewards could be greater than you could ever imagine.